Why get a bug out? We're not talking about regular prepping, though. Regular prepping, yes. If something nuclear happens, you're going to seal up your windows with duct tape. You're going to do what you got to do. You're going to stay in your house. You're going to take your iodine pills. You're going to stay in the house. I even have a biohazard suit. I can get it on, like, for real. <laughs> um, but that's in a regular a disaster situation, war situation, pandemic situation, um, civil disobedience, rioting, looting situation. Yeah, you're going to stay in your house because you know your area and everything you need is with you. But... We're talking about a taking the mark of the beast situation. You're not going to be able to pay your taxes. They're going to put you out of your home. So you want to have a place to go to now. And you're not going to be able to trust anyone. And the minute you have to get exactly, likewise people the together now. you know that kind of thing happens, it's time to sell everything you've got. Money is going to be useless to you anyway. Of, yeah, that's true too. It's going to be very, it's, it's not going to do you any good. But there will be those few people around that are, think that everything is going to get back to normal and they'll take your money. I think it would be good to have maps too and navigate the waterways. But can you trust those people? Learn how to live no. in a houseboat. Yeah. No, no, that's not going to work either. Why? Let me tell you why a houseboat's not going to work. Because you have them, what are they called when they climbed up on our boat and were searching us? What are they called? Coast Guard? Yeah, the Coast Guard can climb on your boat and search you and cart you away. On a river? Yes. What good is that doing you? You have to be hidden. Yeah. Under the radar. Unfound. In a cave. Long gone. Yes. Yes. That's where you need to be. I'm telling you, this is very hard. Yeah. It is very hard. People, the regular preppers, they have tanks of gas in their yard. They're ready to go. They got carbureted cars. They have EMF blankets and EMF envelopes and EMF this and EMF that. They have all their food stock. They have their weapon stock. But in, in where we're talking about the mark of the beast, none of that is going to help you. None of it is going to matter. Even a gunshot is going to alert people to where you're at. So hunting becomes not with a gun anymore. Hunting becomes with a bow and an arrow. Hunting becomes with a fishing pole now. It's not going to be as easy as anybody thinks it is. That's why I'm telling you now, for those of you that are going to fight this thing, you have to mentally prepare. And the, and the way you can start doing that, honestly, <clears throat> if you really want to put yourself in the situation as best as you can, take yourself out in the middle of summer, in the middle of August, to a state park with... Nothing. Only what you can put in your bug out bag. If you can fit a tent in there or hook it onto it, that's fine. Take your bug out bag and live out there for three weeks. Having to get your own food, having to forage, you know. But that's a park. That's still easy. Because no, there. it's not. I'm talking a state park because there's no amenities. A state park. There are no amenities. There's 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 no amenities. Go to a state park. That's the closest you're going to get. Or out in the woods somewhere where you know no one's going to bother you. And try to survive. Give it three weeks. I'm dead. Exactly. Dead you got your bug out bag, though. You're going to have a collapsible fishing pole, which I have. With lures, I got a collapsible fishing pole. It's this big. And if it, if it right, it's like it's like um, eight inches long. And then you open it up and you got a full pole. My you got your lures problem. that fit I'll into it. My biggest problem is going to be the bugs. I have that little oil that from that. BattleBox. Go to BattleBox. <coughs> BattleBox.com. Go online that would be my and hit biggest, their store and get that bug stuff. Because once they start biting you and eating you, that's miserable. That's miserable. Better yet, the best stuff I've ever used comes from this lady I know on Facebook. Her name is Vicky Meals. For those of you that are on my Facebook, and not many of you are, because I try to keep customers off there. <laughs> not customers that are normal, but the abnormal ones, I try to keep off of there that bug me. Um, you know, that just want to, you know, like I have a life other than this. You know, I really do. But um, her name is Vicky Meals, and you can contact her and you tell her what part of the world you live in. Yeah. Um, she will make your bug repellent for you. 
and it works. Oh, come on, really? She, yeah, she gave it to me when, she, um, well, um, yeah, well, you know, she came to visit me. I'm not going to say why, but she came to visit me. And as a thank you, she gave me this bug repellent. You tried it? It really worked? Absolutely. You know where I tested it at? Where? Heiserville. <laughs> not a bug came near me. And then let me tell you what happened to it. Daisy took it because it worked so well. Uh-huh. So I need to order more from her this year. But she makes it. It is a natural oils. And you're like, oh, natural. And I ain't got to work out. I have the DET or whatever it is. No. This lady stuff, they won't come near you. I took it to Fortescue Beach, Lindy. When the greenheads were out, they never came near me. They were eating everybody yeah. else alive. No. They didn't come near me. Nope. Get some more. Yeah. Her name's Vicky Mills. She's on my Facebook. And, and, and she makes it herself. And uh, I'm telling you now, I guarantee you that it works. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, because you guys know about the green heads and the yeah, biting yeah. flies. Because we have. Out of you. I can yeah. Have it down here in the summer. Like it's coming in May. In May, you cannot walk. If, if you live in Heiserville or Fortescue. No, you can't. You can't walk from your car uh, just across the street to the restaurant or just across the street to the beach without wanting to commit a suicide, okay? Because <laughs> you're going to be bleeding all over. They're attacking you, they're eating you. You put this stuff on that she makes, they, they, they don't come near you. Yeah, they leave. They'll up. actually fly up to you and do a U turn. <laughs> I've so seen they, it happen. They, when yeah. they bite you, they leave like pop marks. Yeah. Yeah, they'll they leave holes in your from. flesh. Yeah. So you want to have a really good bug repellent when you're out there. I can tell you that. You, you like, you, you, you want to have that's something you want in that bag. <laughs> that, and you yeah, want band aids, yeah. you want, an, an, you know, an, um, what do you call it? Uh, antibiotic cream. Whatever medicine you're supposed to have. And that's another thing. If you're able to and you're on a medication, you want to only if you can. It depends on the medication. Um, if it's not really needed, start cutting it down. Start saving it. Get extras. Rotate it. Build it up. Antibiotics. I'm going to tell you right now where to get them. Trust me when I tell you this. And I just found out. I just got this antibiotic. I got a crap ton of them too. I got bottles of like a hundred of them. Um, it treats major upper and lower respiratory infection, which will kill you and take you out in a heartbeat, you yeah, know, because that'll turn into yeah, bronchitis and pneumonia. So you mm. want that. It'll treat a urinary tract infection. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Nothing is more miserable than if you get a urinary tract infection, you're already living in the woods. You're going to drop your pants every two seconds to pee where no pee's coming out because you got a urinary tract infection yeah. because, you know, it's it, showers are going to be hard. Okay. So... You go to what's called Cal, C A L dash V E T dot com. Hit the antibiotic section and they'll say liquid and powders or whatever, capsules, pills. Click it. If you want to know what treats what, I will tell you because I do know. I've studied it for years. I know dosages, days, what type to take. You should have well, penicillin thing. with you for uh, tooth problems, penicillin. They sell amoxicillin, penicillin. Um, this really strong antibody too, Cipro thing, and another one. The one good thing about all this, if it were to happen though, is you'd lose weight. Oh yeah, you're going to lose some weight. <laughs> you're going to lose, lose some weight because you're going to be nearly dying. You're not you know? going to have the food right there at your, you know. Disposal. That's right. You're, you're not running through McDonald's, which is horrible pounds. for you anyway. No more Boston cream. No, no more Boston creams. You would That's shed pounds. You're really shedding them. Like, like, like a long-haired <laughs> cat on, on a hot summer day, you're shedding. And then, and then as you're shedding them, you can build your strength, work out more. We'll be back. Start building your... Hold on.